cameras made by Hike Vision and Dawa line the streets where they're not only watching people, but actively analyzing them, even with horrendous features like ethnicity alerts, where they can pick people out of a crowd that they believe to be Uyghur. We spent months and months submitting thousands of freedom of information requests, and we found that the majority of public bodies are using Chinese state-owned surveillance cameras. These companies have dominated, completely dominated, the surveillance market in the UK. Nobody knows how many Hike Vision and Dahua cameras are in the UK. But Big Brother Watch says 227 councils and 15 police forces use Hike Vision, and 35 councils use Dahua. You're talking about data on millions and millions of people that could be processed to potentially generate very detailed reports about each of us and what we do. And if that sounds hyperbolic, then you really need to understand what it is that the Chinese government does in terms of surveillance in its own country against its own population. Having gained access, Connor now times how long it takes to get control of the camera. Ready, set, go. Okay, I'm getting the user list. The only user on this device is admin. I'm gonna set the password to 12345 IPVM. And I set the password, we're done. 11 seconds. We have access to that camera now. So here, if we zoom in tight on the keyboard, we can see the keys that he's pressing to put his password in for his laptop. So now uh, two things have happened. I own that device now. I can do whatever I want with it. I can disable it or I can use it to watch what's going on at the BBC. The second thing is, is that the BBC no longer has control of that device. Zoomed in, I can see his phone screen. So we now have a username and password for the BBC network. Right. And we have the passcode to a BBC employee's phone from this camera. Correct. And this is uh, akin to a locksmith giving you a key to your home. Yeah. Uh, and then secretly making a master key for all of the locks in that community. That's effectively what Hike Vision Engineers did.